So Darling Heights is a unique school in that it would have 38 different uh, nationalities from its student background. Many of these children arrived from refugee camps where they'd been living for five, six, seven years. They got off a plane one day, they were given a uniform, they were asked to stand in lines outside classrooms and then they were told sit in rows in desks. This was all foreign to them. So we needed something that allowed these children to say, I am an individual, there is part of me that can offer something here in this environment. I've done a lot of work at Darling Heights in the past and I was sitting in the staff room and Madonna Wills came up to me and said, look, I, I don't know if you can help me, but I'd love to start this drumming group. Um, I've had this idea for ages and she told me the whole story of why she wanted to start it. And um, I just thought it sounded fantastic. And I was like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. It was a wonderful opportunity to, to be able to celebrate particular skills or attributes of some uh, nationalities, but then to engage all the rest in being part of it. Turned up at 8.30 in the morning and it was like, righto, we're auditioning 60 kids to play the djembe today. I'm like, okay. So um, just jumped straight in the deep end and got to it. I was actually blown away in the audition process with certain individuals that just stood out. Like I knew pretty much straight away that Sibbett was gonna be in the group at the first audition. Sibbett is um, one of our boys from Sudan, I believe, and he only came to our school at the beginning of last year. I'm the leader of the drumming group. My job is to be responsible, keep things going and not miss out on rehearsals or anything. It's my job as a leader too, to be energetic and just get into it and try to get everyone in, in the group into it too. Getting them to dance around and everything. There's children from so many different nationalities and um, it's like they're all there together, um, working together, singing the same thing and, and performing together, it's, it's amazing. I think the first song we ever, we ever wrote, um, Rhythm of the World, I'm just thinking of the lyrics of that song. We got the rhythm, the rhythm of the world. And I actually wrote that song, just, well, we put it together just thinking about what we've got here. I just stood there looking at the, the children and thinking, um, we work together to make a better world. And um, that's what that whole song's about. And, and the power of music um, is, is just everyone being able to sing and play the same thing, one heartbeat, um, one voice. We've got the rhythm, we've got the rhythm, the rhythm of the world, the rhythm of the world, we work together, we work together, to make a better world, to make a better world, oh, 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 nice having people from other countries in the drumming group and making music with them as well. They come in and they smile and they get like they're so happy to be here and they're so happy to be in it and, and they're energetic and they're, they walk away happy and they walk away smiling and that's a cool thing. Classroom teachers have said how wonderful it's been from the point of view that children have got something to contribute. They're keen and when they go back to class after a drumming session you can see the enthusiasm. And it's just a privilege for me um, to, to be in the middle of it, um, working with the staff and the students and Michael. It's, I'm, I'm just so lucky to, to be in the middle of that and watch it, watch it blossom. Yeah.